Tying the Texas T with 5 minute horse lessons. First we're going to start with a latigo that's ready to be tied. So I'll go through the D-ring on my saddle towards the shoulder of my horse or the front of the saddle. I'm going to come across towards the hindquarter or the back of the saddle, pull my D-ring out, go through, and then put that right there and then I'm going to tighten it up using the back piece of leather. I'm going to place my finger right there and then pull the excess down and that will ensure that you have a nice tight Texas T. Good girl. To loosen the Texas T, I'm just going to grab the end of my latigo and push it up and as soon as I have a little bit of excess then I can go ahead and, and untie that. Now let's tie a Texas T from scratch. First, I'm going to move my stirrup out of the way. Just hang it right here on the saddle horn, which I would do only for filming purposes. Otherwise, I would not do that. I'm going to go ahead and make sure the end of my latigo is right here. Reach down, grab my cinch, put the end of the latigo through the D ring. Go ahead and pull that down. Put a little bit of tension on it right there. With the end of my latigo, I'm going to go through the D ring on my saddle back to the D-ring on the cinch. And then up one more time. And here I'm just going to snug that up a little bit. Remember to snug in increments. So I'll tighten that up. And again, first towards the shoulder, wrap around towards the back of the saddle, come through. Pull the end of the ladder go through and let it drop down. And I'm going to tighten right there, put some pressure there. And there's the Texas T. Now if you have a lot of excess right here, you can run it back up through. You can just ever so slightly loosen that up, pull it up like so, and then bring your stirrup back down. And if you have even more excess than you need, go ahead and bring it up even further and you can go through your latigo keeper and then bring it down as well. So make your adjustment and then go ahead and bring your stirrup back down. To tee or not to tee? That is the question. Personally, I prefer to buckle my cinch because this extra bit of leather here rubs my knee. If you've run out of holes on your latigo, you're going to have to tie a Texas tee. If your cinch does not have a tongue which you can use to buckle your latigo, you'll need to tie a Texas T. Another reason to tie the Texas T is that when I undo my latigo and I'm putting my saddle away, as I take my latigo down, let my cinch go free, I'm going to go ahead and bring my latigo up. I'm going to bring two loops and my free end just like so. I always will tie a Texas T so that my latigo does not untie when I'm moving my saddle around. So I'll bring it through and go down and just tighten it up and that keeps my latigo nice and neat. A quick tip when you're tying up your latigo as you unsaddle your horse. So as your latigo hangs free, what I want to do is I want to come out about halfway down the latigo. I'm going to grab here at the D-ring with my right hand and pull that D-ring away from my horse. With this hand, I'm going to go next to my horse, push it through the D-ring towards me. So I'm bringing a loop out. I have a loop in my hand and then I'm adjusting the end of the latigo like so. So I have loop and a loop and now my free end. With my free end, I just tie my Texas tee.